Are you English? <laughs> no, I'm not English. Why? No, because you, uh, <laughs> you are pretty. A Mexican cartel leader hires a lawyer to help him transition into living as a woman named Emilia Perez. What? <laughs> Carla Sofia Gascon, <laughs> Zoe Saldana, and Selena Gomez are some of the stars in this Netflix film. Let's bring in movie critic Gray Drake for her review. This is probably the most um, unexpected intro I've ever read. Uh, exactly. And it is a totally unexpected film, too. Really? Okay. Oh, strap in, go for this ride because it's a wow. All is right. it scary? It's not scary. Oh. It is not what you think it is, no matter how I describe it. It, so. well, I don't really understand what was happening in that scene. Well, <laughs> so you will. So, so stay with me here okay. for a second where Zoe Saldana yeah. is like totally unappreciated. Her, she's wasting her career and her life, okay. right? Okay. She meets a Mexican cartel leader and that cartel leader wants to transition to being a woman, oh. his true self, mm. her true self. And so she helps her and the rest of it is almost inexplicable. Now, it's also a musical. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. And it is so fascinating. It is so touching. That, but I'll tell you something. For the first 30 minutes of this movie, I was not on board. Oh. And then... You had to stick it out. Uh-huh. Because I, I realized in one moment that this is a movie about... Can a person truly change? Uh, Not just their physical, but also their spirit. I'm gonna so tell is you this no. her recognizing uh -huh. the other person who's already transitioned, uh -huh. and that's the moment she recognizes she it? She never saw her, and all of a sudden, they're at this fancy dinner, and it is juicy and gossipy and wonderful, but it's also touching and real. I, I was so surprised, and it is just, you need to go along for this ride, okay. and I love that it's streaming. Uh, my stepdad always said leopards don't change their spots, so I don't know that I believe people can really change. Well, this movie might change your ideas. Okay. It sounds like I better see it. You better. All right, next, a real pain. Okay. <laughs> so, we're family and we're going to Poland. That's what this movie Why? is about. <laughs> There's a great reason for it. Written and directed and starring Jesse Eisenberg. We've seen him as Lex Luthor. He's in The Social Network, a ton of movies. And this time he's David traveling with his cousin Benji, played by Kieran Culkin from Succession. Oh, right. Love him. So yeah. their beloved grandma, her dying wish was that her kids and their grandkids would go to Poland where she oh, grew up okay, okay. and they would learn about their Jewish heritage. Got it. And traveling with family is challenging, especially when you're with Benji. Two sides of that coin, he is magnetic, he's funny. The other side, he's challenging, he's annoying. He says things that people really don't want to hear. And so Sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to her cousin on the next movie review. And so basically together, like the, the two of them are going through a lot of emotions. This movie's funny, it's poignant. And I was really impressed by Jesse Eisenberg as writer and director. Okay. Like, so many great things about this movie. Beautiful. Well, great cast, too. Yes. Okay, last, we have to get to a Christmas movie. Uh, Christmas Eve and Miller's Point. Yes. Okay, this movie is a vibe. It is impossible <laughs> for me to describe a plot because it doesn't have one. Okay. Okay. But That's kind of what I like in a Christmas movie. Uh, well, you will love this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because it was like stepping into a time machine and a ticket, a free ticket home for Christmas, Aww. okay, where this is just a family on Christmas Eve, and it's little vignettes of what's going on at this party <laughs> that lasts all night long. So you got people oh, talking cute. trash that's in the sweet. garage, throwing darts. You got folks arguing about how to care <laughs> for their elderly parents. You got grandma who's like telling one granddaughter she's pretty, but then not saying anything to the other granddaughter. <laughs> And eventually the teenagers escape oh, and wow. they go and they wreak havoc on the town and like the town diner and, you know, just like literally sitting in a park. You know, it is just those kinds of tiny little moments all wrapped up in a film. I've I've never seen a movie quite like it. So if you're estranged from idea. your family, you could just watch this movie <laughs> and you're good. Absolutely. Yes. It is so much less stressful. <laughs> up with different ideas for holiday movies yeah. that's too. right so this is pretty creative yeah. oh, like it, it reminded me of everybody i love and i think that no matter where you come from you're going to relate to this okay thank you Craig. you bet